human to animal. Is it right? Should we do it? And what have we already done? Here are the top five scary human crossbreeding experiments. Number five on this list is the human mouse. Now, how the heck did they manage this one? Popular Mechanics says, scientists at the University at Buffalo and the Roswell Park Cancer Institute have bred a new form of human mouse chimera with the highest incidence of human cells ever recorded. Two weeks after the researchers injected human stem cells into the developing mouse embryos, one of the newborn mice exhibited 4% human cells, a major advance considering human and animal cells don't typically jive well. While they're still mostly just mice and only a tad bit human, the breakthrough marks a step toward more advanced genetically modified embryos in the future. It's not been possible to generate any human stem cells that substantially contribute to mouse embryos, the scientists say in the paper's abstract. Their work may enable applications such as human organ generation in animals. They go on in that article to get very technical with things and break down exactly how they did it, but in all honesty, it got very confusing very quickly to somebody without a science background. The big takeaway here is that there is a mouse out there that is actually 4% human. That mouse to my knowledge, would be the closest thing in the universe right now to a human being without it being an actual human being. Like, think about that. There is a mouse out there that is kind of like our long lost cousin. This, like, everything on this list starts to get very ethically and morally questionable. At what percent of human does this mouse start to become untouchable? Like at what point do our laws, rights, and freedoms start to apply to the mouse? 20% human? 30% human? 50%? When does this mouse stop being a mouse and start being a human and start getting treated like a human? And also, what the heck would a 50% mouse and 50% human even look like? Like, we're getting into some seriously weird territory here, and as much as I get that this could be good for science or whatever, I'm pretty sure I can go the rest of my life without ever having to see a half-mouse, half-human thing. Ugh. Number four on this list is the human rabbit. You know, if I had to become a human hybrid of any animal, I feel like a rabbit would be cool. At least then I could jump really high and maybe I could finally dunk. The Washington Post says, scientists in China have, for the first time, used cloning techniques to create hybrid embryos that contain a mix of DNA from both humans and rabbits, according to a report in a scientific journal that has reignited the smoldering ethics debate over cloning research. More than 100 of the hybrids made by fusing human skin cells with rabbit eggs were allowed to develop in laboratory dishes for several days before the scientists destroyed them to retrieve so-called embryonic stem cells from their interiors. Although scientists in Massachusetts had previously mixed human cells and cow eggs in a similar attempt to make hybrid embryos as a source of stem cells, those experiments were not successful. Researchers said yesterday they were hopeful that the rabbit work would lead to a new and plentiful source of embryonic stem cells for research and eventually for medical use. But theologians and others decried the work as unethical. Unethical seems to be the theme of this video, folks. That article by the Washington Post was actually written back in 2003. That's right, guys. This happened almost two decades ago, meaning that there has been tons of time for them to make better hybrids behind closed doors. Now, I'm not saying that they continued with these projects but I'm also not saying that they didn't continue either. There was a lot of backlash when this first came out, so continuing with this without people knowing, that might have been desired. Who knows, there could be a fully grown rabbit man hopping around somewhere in some Chinese lab for all we know. Number three on this list is the human pig. This is a thing, guys. I really can't believe it is, but this is a literal thing. Stat News says pig embryos that had been injected with human stem cells when they were only a few days old began to grow organs containing human cells, scientists reported on Thursday, an advance that promises or threatens to bring closer the routine production of creatures that are part human and part something else. These human pig chimeras were not allowed to develop past the fetal stage, but the experiment suggests such creations could eventually be used to grow fully human organs for transplant, easing the fatal shortage of organs. 
120,000 people in the United States are waiting for life-saving transplants, but every day two dozen die before they get them. Human pig chimeras could also be used for research into prenatal development and to test experimental drugs. A human lung in a pig might show more accurately the effect of a compound intended to treat, say, cystic fibrosis than today's lab animals. So they weren't allowed to grow past the fetal stage, but it is coming, guys. All of these human whatever hybrids have been happening in the last couple years. They're very recent developments, and considering they've shown promise in the early stages, you can bet that this will just continue to keep going and going. I would not be surprised if within five or 10 years or so, there's some weird, disgusting looking pig human thing oinking itself around the human hybrid barn. Number two on this list is the human monkey. I know that we technically descended from monkeys, but now it looks like we're taking that to a whole other level. Nature.com says, scientists have successfully grown monkey embryos containing human cells for the first time, the latest milestone in a rapidly advancing field that has drawn ethical questions. In the work published on the 15th of April in Cell 1, the team injected monkey embryos with human stem cells and watched them develop. They observed human Human and monkey cells divide and grow together in a dish with at least three embryos surviving to 19 days after fertilization. The overall message is that every embryo contains human cells that proliferate and differentiate to a different extent, says Juan Carlos, a developmental biologist at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies at La Jolla, California, and one of the researchers who led the work. Researchers hope that some human-animal hybrids, known as chimeras, could provide better models in which to test drugs and be used to grow human organs for transplants. Members of this research team were the first to show in 2019 that they could grow monkey embryos in a dish for up to 20 days after fertilization. So they are literally making these human monkey things and gonna use them as a place to test drugs and other things. No wonder this is bringing up some ethical debates. A half human is going to be bred to get stuff tested on it and then have its organs harvested. Remind me to not not get reincarnated as a human monkey, please. Now, I should note that this is a long way from being finalized, and we are looking at many, many years until we have human monkeys walking around or being tested upon. But still, it is happening, and they are already finding ways to make it work. Comment down below your feelings on this and whether you think that what they're planning to do is morally right or not. And finally, number one on this list is mouse human. So we had human mouse, and this is what I'm calling mouse human. Basically, it's the exact same idea as before, except this time, instead of nondescript human stem cells, they've decided to go with human brain cells. Basically, what they've done here is take a mouse and inject some human brain cells into the mouse. This implant has actually shown to make the mice more intelligent than they were before. When referring to what it does to a mouse, his brain, one scientist said it's like ramping up the power of your computer. So there guys, it's just like adding a bit more juice to your laptop. Nothing wrong with this picture, nothing to see here. Yeah, all right, Mr. Science Guy. Obviously, as you can all expect by this point, moral and ethical questions have come up about this practice and whether or not it should continue. I think what I want to know is, where are the human brain cells coming from? Are people like donating their brain cells or how does this work? All I know is that I need to hold on to the ones that I currently have and won't be donating any of my intelligence to a mouse anytime soon. But there you have it folks, that is our list of the top 5 scary human crossbreeding experiments. Oh my goodness. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other creepy crossbreeding experiments that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host Nicholas Playlog and I'll catch you next time.